Hello, everyone. My name is Katiga Savukumaran. And I'm Caitlin Liu. And this is our Trilobite project. First things first, we decided to assign jobs to get work done more efficiently. So I took the role of building the model, researching information, and putting information in the slideshow. And I decided to take the role of designing the digital poster, drawing the poster, and managing the aesthetics. For those of you who don't know much about Trilobite, here is an introduction. Trilobites were the dominant arthropods in the early Paleozoic seas. They lived in shallow water as a benthic, walked on the bottom, and may have been pelagic. It is thought to have laid eggs, but its embryology is unknown. They had an exoskeleton soon after or at birth, which molted as they grew. It went extinct at the end of the Permian mass extinction. They appeared in the early Cambrian period in which they dominated both Ordovician and Cambrian seas. The population slowly declined until they went extinct in the Permian period. They had only existed in the Paleozoic era, but they didn't have in most of it. We both found this organism very interesting. This is mainly because they were dominant arthropods in the early Paleozoic era and during the Cambrian period. They slowly became less dominant and then their extinction arrived. We are also interested because it was such a small creature, and we are intrigued to know how it was dominant and what advantages it might have had. Most trilobites were three to six centimeters, but some species were drastically smaller or bigger. They have a great depth of field using their doublet lenses, which allows them to understand where everything is in terms of depth. They also had a much harder exoskeleton. The high capability and diversity in their body tag allowed them to adapt to different environments quickly. Their ability to roll into a ball and keep themselves hidden under the sand while hunting by filtering out water for plankton is efficient for survival. This is why they are often called to pill, compared to pill bugs. Here is some more information about trilobites. They lived for about 270 million years before the Permian extinction. And they ate a variety of things such as plants, insects, plankton, worms, diatoms, fish, algae, but some species were strictly herbivores. Trilobites swam and floated, while others lived on or under rocks. They could curl up into a ball as a defense mechanism. Trilobites were the dominant arthropods in the early Paleozoic seas. The trilobite is thought to have reproduced sexually, like many modern ar arthropods. It is thought that they also laid eggs. They were the first animals in the animal kingdom to develop complex eyes. The climate in the Paleozoic era had a lot of oxygen, which meant that organisms thrived, and there were a lot of plants everywhere. Here we will show you our progress of pictures throughout our work days. This is the trilobite model pro uh, progress. We used both types of clay, but the air dry clay didn't work as expected, so we ended up using the model magic. This is the progress I made with the poster. Since I didn't know we could take the poster home, I decided to plan out everything with a digital copy, which made it easier to finish. Here's our reflection, which included our successes and challenges. Some challenges we ran into was the fact that we bought the wrong clay, which is sticky and extremely hard to work with. It also left a huge mess, so we lost day two for the model progress. For me, I couldn't work on the poster as much as I would have liked, which we thought that we couldn't take the poster home. Because of this, we didn't finish the poster fast enough, so our video presentation was delayed. Some su successes we had is that we finished the research pretty quickly so that we had lots of time with the poster and slideshow. We finished by the start of day three, and the model was pretty easy to transport since it was so tiny, and I didn't have to bring all my materials, and I could work on it at home. I also didn't need Caitlin to work on it with me as much because it was much tinier and not very hard to make. A success for me is that the poster is really easy to finish since I planned everything out with a digital copy. Here's some things we would change with the project after knowing how to do it. If we were able to do the project again, we would make the trilobite color stand out more. I would have added more paint to make things light, but it was already covering up some details. This ties into another thing I would have changed, which is the amount of paint. I think we should have added less so it showed more details instead of covering them up. For the poster, I think we should have done bullet points to make it easier to read. I also wish that the design could have looked more unique as it didn't achieve my expectations. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.